Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Yesterday Productions here on Twitch. Second time today that I've been here. First time without Amber. Kind of lonely, but that's okay. I'm sure she's around in the chat, maybe. We'll see. Hope everybody's doing well and had a good afternoon or morning or night or whatever happened between now and the last time. But I'm actually just really excited to be back here playing Subnautica with you guys again. So, uh, yeah, first and foremost, I got some announcements to get out real quick. We've got a socials. If you wanna, if you wanna get access to our socials, just go ahead and let us know. We'll go ahead and pop that in the chat. We've got a Discord you can join, be part of the community. We have our tip active, our tips active. If you want to go and contribute to that, it's a onesie fun. We're planning to buy onesies. Um, literally been looking at Kigurumis. Um, contribute if you feel so inclined. Make it happen. We'll wear them on stream. You guys will see us wearing Kigurumis. So get hyped for that. Uh, if you want to throw us a little coin for that, that would be awesome. But don't worry about it if you can't. Otherwise, just sit back, relax. Enjoy the rolling waves of Subnautica. There is stream loots. Amber will be monitoring our chat tonight. She will be available to reward you packs if you spend your emeralds on them. And if you want to save up as well, just know that we are doing our best to try and answer any requests that come uh, for us to do some 10,000 point emerald redemptions. We've only had a couple so far, but we're happy to do them. Last, uh, on Saturday, we did Nostalgia 1 Player Zero. We played Mario Kart and Diddy Kong Racing for our Redeemer Emissary Vex. So if you're next, you never know. We might just do it. Are you guys ready for this? I'm a little nervous, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I'm looking forward to it, you know, just because it's a lot of fun to play, but I'm a little nervous. I've got a big project on my hands tonight. I'm building the prawn suit. So that's really my entire plan. Uh, let's dive in. What's also really neat is we updated the draw the uh, graphics card in this computer, so everything should look a lot cleaner now. And you guys shouldn't have any delay issues or anything like that in watching the stream, so. Oh, thank you, CoffeeBot. Look at that, eh? Okay, so I'm gonna really quick check the graphics. Motion blur is the only thing I'm always going to turn off. So I thought that was going to happen. Um, yeah. Going to go ahead and save. So, so far, I don't actually know how much has changed. Uh, how does it look to you guys? Does it look, does it look like it's going okay? Or does it look too bouncy? Too, like, does it look like it's ripping at all? Yeah, does it look good? Dope. Hey, Coulter, how you doing? I'm glad it looks good, cause I'm I'm feeling good about this. Tonight's a big one, guys. Morning, Fester. How you doing today? This is our fabricated shit. I'm gonna go ahead and consume, 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 consume. Now we're feeling good. <laughs> Morning. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Uh, I'm not late, you are. <laughs> I'm doing well, Fester. Hey, Highness, how you feeling? Good morning or afternoon or day to you. Uh, okay, what was I looking for? Ah, crap, I fucked all that up. Right, this is what I wanted. Um, I'm gonna go upstairs to my office. There's something I've been wanting to put on my desk since I found it. And... Yeah, check it out. My desk is the best desk ever. Look at that view. Oh, it's so pretty. Anyway. 
That's it. That was that's all I wanted to get accomplished right now. Uh, time to go build a prawn suit. <laughs> okay, so first things first, let's double check the blueprints so I can remember what I need for this. I know I need that, which I think I might have to go re recover some things for that. Uh, prawn suit, I need diamonds, lead, enameled glass, and plasteel ingots. Okay, I need... Yeah, welcome everybody. Thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, it's really nice to have you all here. Med kits, elephant. What went in elephant again? Oh, right, alien shit. Okay, flora. This is where we put all this stuff. Minerals is where we were storing generic stuff like this. I've got lead. I need to create like a this is what I'm working on storage. Okay, here's how we're going to do this. Um, we want interior modules. We want a wall locker and we're going to put it. I need enameled glass. I t told you I'd be back because <laughs> that mean wifey won't let me sleep. Ah! <laughs> well, I'm just happy you're here, Fester. Thank you for stopping by, friend. Okay, I need lead, which is under minerals. I need two lead. I need two diamonds. And I only got one diamond, so I'm going to go find some more diamonds. Also, I want the next five good things about Liam. Well, it's still the same day, so it's technically going to be the same five things as last time. Which, I'll be, I'll be amazed if I can remember what they were, but I'll try to remember what they were for the sake of making sure I recite them before I call it. Uh, I'm so amply supplied on stuff like that. Let's pop that in there. I need the two arrow gel. Pop those in here. Let's see, looking at the blueprint again. I need one more diamond, an enameled glass, which I need stalker's teeth for. So let's go get some. Uh... Do, 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 do. Oh, right. Um, I need. Why can't I hell? Five good things, recite them. Ugh. Okay, um I've got great hair. Which I don't know if anybody's noticed is covered is colored now, and I'm really happy about the color. Um, I've got a great ear. I I'm really good at listening. I, I love to listen, and I I'm got a really good ear for it for doing music. I've got a I'm really good at doing sound stuff in general. I'm I've got quite a lot of experience doing sound engineering and live sound, so I'm good at sound stuff. Uh, I make really good burgers. It doesn't seem to matter what the what the core is. I can make a really good burger. The fifth one was um, shit. Okay, no, off with you. I can't I can't sit here while this is going on. I gotta go outside and explore a little bit. Oh fuck! I can't remember my fifth one anymore. To anyone who really wants to know what's going on with this, Amber has issued me a challenge to try and say five good things about myself every day. I have a very low opinion of myself, so I tend to not say nice things about me ever. Um, but Amber has issued me this challenge to recite five good things about me every day. Um, I'm going to go get my Seamoth, I think, if I want to go do anything productive. Oh, shit. What was my fifth thing? Oh, I gotta repair this. It's broken. 
No, it's in my inventory, isn't it? No, it's not. Why isn't it in my inventory? I've also forgotten the fifth one. Well, I guess I need to come up with a new fifth one, don't I? So I guess, Faster, you do get a new one. Um... I know who I am. That was the fifth one. Chat always wins. I'll still come up with a new one, though, I think, uh, just because, you know, you guys deserve to hear it. Forgive. Dark's a little angry. What's wrong, Dark? Do you want to talk about it, or are you good? Uh, lithium, gold, copper... She beats me help. Hmm. Five good things about dark. The PAX Australia ticket system is fucked. Ooh. Yeah. I, I really wish I could help you there. Okay. Well, I know I've got my repair tool in here, so I'm going to snag up my repair tool real quick. And I'm going to go fix up the, the Seamoth because it's taking a little damage. Don't actually... Let's see... Uh, I don't really need the seeds either. I w mm, probably could go under flora, couldn't it? Yeah, we'll pop the seeds under flora. That'll do for now. And then we're going to go on an adventure. As I do. Okay, we want this, 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 and this. Everything is now on my inventory bar that I want there. Already I'm getting thirsty again. This is ridiculous. Oh yeah, if you guys don't have Subnautica cards yet, go grab yourself a pack of Subnautica cards and you can interact with me while I'm trying to play while I'm trying to play the game. Sure, that'll be plenty of fun, eh? Hello. Gonna need that for sure. Demands fishes. All right, I gotta catch 10 fish. There's one. There's two, three, four, five. Wait, how have I not scanned those yet? Six. Kind, caring, beautiful, smart. Jesus, that's a lot of stalkers. Holy shit, that's a lot of stalkers. Hang on. She's kind, caring, beautiful, smart, has a wonderful singing voice, a cracking smile. She's modest, gives her all for those who care about without thinking about herself. Fester, you're very, very good to her. I'm just watching some of the feedback, some of the playback there. It looks a little rough so I'm gonna drop this down a little bit to about medium and I'm gonna back out real quick sorry guys this is uh, I'm sure a little frustrating to see but I need to make sure it actually loads everything up properly
Uh, okay, well, I'm going to come up with a new bonus one. How many am I at right now? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. I got to catch four more fish. So for, oh, there's my other stalker tooth that I need. That's good. Yo, this looks incredible. That's number six and seven. Sorry, that's uh, seven and eight. Nine. And ten. All right. Let's head back to the sea moth. So I didn't pick up that much salvage, but I picked up enough, I think, for me to be able to get some stuff that I needed done done. No, she has to come up with her, um, just making it harder. Oh my God, faster. But it is a good exercise. I will say that it's, what the hell just happened? Did, did I get kicked out of the sea moth? My God, it kicked me out of the sea moth. That's frustrating. Okay, I'm going to need to I need minerals. How much salt do I have? I do not have enough salt for what I gotta what I gotta cook up here. Uh, Highness, I think you might have to try and do a couple for yourself because if I've got to do it and I have to suffer through it and trust me It's painful watching me do this. You should probably try yourself, too It just it, just, it does feel good. I will say that like when you actually can do it Wonderful things about your beautiful <laughs> Say all the wonderful things about you beautiful. Aw, Fester, you're very nice. I Guess I'm a good judge of beer That's my I'm gonna go with that Die, Jesus, Highness. <sighs> I'm a good judge of good beer at this point. I've had a long time to figure out what is considered a good beer from a bad beer from a mediocre beer. And trust me, I believe I've reached a point where I know what beer is supposed to taste like. That's why I'm drinking something really high quality right now. Uh, we're going to make a couple enameled glass, because I need two enameled glass for this prawn suit. And then I'm going to make my four titanium. Okay, now what do I need to make a plasteel ingot? There isn't five good things about me. I, get, I got a lot of subs. Love that you actually made the coffee machine. I gift a lot of subs. You gift amazingly high quantities of subs. That's that's really good of you. Yeah, Fester, you're actually a really good guy. But yeah, I built a coffee machine because um, although Liam can never enjoy a cup of coffee ever again, I'll be damned if Liam in this game can't enjoy a goddamn cup of coffee. Oh, right. Did I forget to grab a cup? There it is. It gives me plus four water. Despite the fact that it actually does the exact opposite. I mean, I can talk about how Fester takes very good care of me and makes sure I'm doing okay. He's, he is an amazing carry in Apex. Trust me, I need it. He is incredibly funny, but he is also very forgiving when I don't get some of his jokes. That's beautiful. That's, that's really beautiful. Uh, okay, hang on. Let's take a look at the crafting list again. Oh, right, I have another cup of coffee. Let's consume that real quick. 
To make plastic ingots, I need titanium ingots and two lithium. And I need 10 titanium for that. Going on a titanium hunt, folks. Bambi's turn. Hey, if I had to recite my five, you got to recite your five, hun. Oh, you're going to give Bambi some? Good qu you're going to give her some compliments there, uh, Highness? Is that salt or quartz? That's quartz. I say go for it. Jesus. It's exceptionally hard to do this at night. I don't even know that I'm going to need that copper, but it's going to be good to have. Okay. Um, I really am going to need the salt, though. Time to do this, then. I suppose I wouldn't be fair to make y'all do it, then hide my, uh, behind my shell of self-doubting. So I think I'm kind, caring, have a big heart and a lot of love. I'm funny. I spread positive and live, and live where I can. I'm assuming you mean life where I can. I am kind of cute or do cute things or say cute stuff. I'm not the worst looking bloke on the planet. I'm losing weight. Hey, congrats. My hair is amazing if you like thick curly hair and I'm rather tall, but not excessively. Think that would just about cover me, love? Hey, you know what? That's awesome, Fester. Actually, Amber, do you want to throw do you want to throw Fester and Dark uh, a pack of stream loots each for for doing this? Bambi is freaking adorable. She is very welcoming. I'm always in a good mood when I see her name because I know she is a wonderful and will make me happy. She is an amazing streamer with an engaging, comforting content, and her name makes me think of Disney, which is always a win. Aww. Yeah, I can't disagree with any of those. Straight up, she's a wonderful human, and I'm so lucky that she wanted to spend any of it with me. Ow, fuck. Hey, K Flello, thank you for stopping by. Bammy do be pretty gay, though, no arguments. Still thinking of five. Take your time, Dark, no rush. Let's see here. I don't even think I have enough to make one titanium ingot. I need to make two plasteel ingots. Uh, here we go. I've already built a bioreactor, so that's just free titanium at that point. What do we got over here? Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. 
Are you a prom boy yet? Getting there. Getting there. Not not quite there yet, though. No. Let's see. What do I got here? That's 12 plus another 3 plus the 4 I've got. 7. I'm still a little short. I'll have to go back out and find some more titanium in a bit. Jeebus. Hey, Vex, welcome. What is it? Turn off all my lights? Yeesh. Okay. Well, so far that's okay, right? I don't have any lights turned on, so... Chat is excitable today. I, I like it, though. I like that everybody's in a good mood. Poor Dark, I can see her visibly pouring out smoke and steam trying to come up with one. I wish she, she could see how amazing she is. Let me in, let me in, let me in! Yeesh. That was scary, eh? Tell us, yeah, Vex, tell us five good things about yourself, friend. Let's see. Ooh, that fish ate the stream. <laughs> Lol, bad fish. Kick its ass. Um, I'm introverted and I don't like personal questions. Vex, 100%, that's okay, friend. No one's going to force you to do anything. I need the minerals locker so I can get out my lead. That's my lithium. Whoopsie. Uh, wait a minute. Everyone else has been on a very self-doubting, so we're working on positivity. Yes, we are indeed. I sh oh, no, it's lithium I need, not lead. Lol. I was grabbing the right thing after all. Store that, store that, store all these. Grab one, two, three, four lithium. I've got my two titanium ingots. Drop my extra titanium in the storage container. I have a lot more titanium than I expected to. Everyone, uh, don't force yourself unless you are dark, in which case, go, go, baby. Yeah! Yeah. It's mostly been this conscious effort Amber's been making to try and make me be more positive about myself, which I think is beautiful. But it's also encouraging, I think, everybody to try it. But honestly, if you're not comfortable sharing it, you don't have to. And I think it's probably better if we all do what we're comfortable with. Do what you're comfortable with, guys. Okay, uh, what do I need? What, what's left on, on my list? I've got... What have I got in the locker right now? I've got two lead, one diamond... Two plastic ingots, two arrow gels, and two enamel glass. I think the only thing I have left that I need... Where's my prawn suit? I'll get some water in a second, but where's my prawn suit? It's one more diamond. I just need one more fucking diamond. Pardon my language, but... I also would like to try to make an effort to be a little more conscientious of my language. I'm, I'm, a very, I'm very bad for that. Emissary Vex? Not a problem. Uh, I'm not going to drink that last one, I don't think, here. Let's go ahead and store that. I think I got a couple of healthy melons I can pick up right now. I still need them to eat. 
we're going to do this. I'm kind of proud of my school results considering I did some harder subjects. My stream has grown a lot in the 11 months I've been streaming. Congratulations. I show my love by making things for people to make them happy. I like to think I'm dependable. I'm a dependable friend that people can come to if they need help. Maybe my baby face is like maybe just a little bit cute. Highness, you nailed it. Congratulations. I think that's beautiful. Okay. Uh... What is a Reginald? I don't actually remember seeing one of those, but okay. Okay, so let's go get some gel packets real quick here. Oh, dang. Do, 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 do. Gonna go put gel sacks in this thing. Last thing I want to do is come back here and have my power out again. Nothing sucked more than that. Okay. We're going off hunting diamonds. Let's see if I can remember where to go for that. Uh, there's the 300 meter depth and I want to have my Seamoth turned on and that'll do it for now. Let's propose to Gassi Habitat, which I can get to pretty easily, but actually let's just go down there. Let's do the Degasi sta stage right now. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to work on one. Jeez, I got way too many things going on here right now. I'm going to finish the prawn suit, so I'm going to go to Keen's last broadcast location because I know there was some diamond down there. We're going to snag us a diamond. We're going to come back up here. We're going to build the prawn suit. And that's the whole plan so far. From there, we'll go and start investigating and start following up on stuff. Although I'm debating grabbing all that metal salvage on the way back. So how's the stream looking, everybody? Is it looking okay? Now, I don't know how long that card lasts that Dark played that says I have to do everything with my lights off, but uh, if it's expired, does somebody want to let me know? And now that I've died and have time, I think you're pretty awesome. I haven't known you for as long, but hanging here makes me very, very happy. Just like your hair is gray because of the green screen. I believe it was five minutes. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's kind of a silvery gray color because of the green screen effect. It was five minutes. Okay, has it been five minutes? Because I don't know if it's been five minutes yet or not. Probably. Not yet, Vex. They come on Friday. We'll have the green screen shirts this coming Friday. So if you're holding on to green screen cards, that's when they'll be live again. You'll be able to use them again because we will actually have the shirts. I'm going to assume five minutes is up. But if Dark wants to call me on it, then... Uh, I mean, she played the card. It's her call. I am wearing the rebreather. Okay, good.
So sorry, sorry. You you don't you're, you're good with the time limit being up? Because if you're good with it, I'm gonna turn the lights on again. Because I'm get it's starting to be a little difficult to do what I need to get done down here. Huh. The ship is actually taking some damage from that. Turn your lights on. Uh, now the lights are off again. <laughs> well, well, what have we here? Lights are off. Fucking hell. The worst part is I didn't see any diamond down there, so I have no idea if there is any for me to find down there. Oh shit, it's getting darker. 7.36, so I have... 7.40 is when I can turn my lights back on. Oh uh, boy. <laughs> this is so infuriating. Uh, diamond is on the island where the ship got shot down. Is there a lot of diamond there? OMG backseat. <laughs> Where is the island anyway? Oh, there it is! Hey, the island! Well, that's one of the islands. I don't think that's the island in question. Actually, you're right, Amber. I didn't turn that tag on. I should do that. <laughs> Let's see. Um... Aurora Rendezvous Point Drylands. You can fix what? what? What can you fix, Amber? She can change the tags? Wait, what? Seriously? You wouldn't... Do that to me, would you? It's about to get really dark here. <laughs> Save. Okay, I'll save. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tags updated. What do you mean, tags updated? What do you mean by this? Oh, backseating allowed. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I hadn't turned that on. I, I I was worried you were changing the tags in the game somehow. Well, I didn't know what you were up to. <laughs> this is the island in question, though. This is the island. Uh-oh. Woo, that was close. Yeah, this is the island, isn't it? Where the rendezvous was supposed to happen with the Aurora. Oh, wait, no, that's the Aurora Rendezvous. I'm looking... Right, right, right. Hang on, I got the wrong tag. Whoops. Uh, it's... Let's see. It was the extraction point. Oh, that waypoint doesn't stay on my list? Well, crap. I'm going to have to actually go find it on my own. 
Oh, good. Good, good, good. The five minutes off. Uh, five minutes time limit is up. Right, I should go get a beacon, actually. I've got a couple that I built. Trick with a PDA. Are there a bunch of cool tricks you can do that I don't know about because I've not got very much exposure to this game at all? It seems wasteful for me to keep the uh, lights turned on when I can all I can see is just utter nothing in front of me. I don't remember if you taught it. Well, Vex, if you haven't taught it to her yet, do you want to teach it to me? Teach it to you after you make a beacon. Oh, okay. No problem. Not the problem at all. Honestly, I'm still excited about the fact that I can actually play this game and you guys can see it played a lot cleaner than on minimum graphics spec. Stand on top of the life pod. Tonight it is a chocolate porter. It is a longboat chocolate porter. I'll get Amber actually. Amber, if you're free right this second, could you bring in the bottle? It's still in the fridge. Uh, it's made by a local craft brewery actually in the area. Right, I gotta look up how to make a beacon real quick here. Pathfinder tool. Wait, I built a Pathfinder tool. Where the hell did I put it? Oh, Vex, I'm so sorry. That's awful. I did build a Pathfinder tool. Good, okay, good, good. I need batteries, which I have in the batteries container. I actually use that as one of my five good things about myself is I got a pretty good judge of what a good beer is. Because at this stage of my life, I've had so much shit beer and so much good beer that I actually have a taste for it. Here we go. So yeah, it's from Phillips, which is an island brewery. They're local guys. It's the Longboat Chocolate Porter. It's pretty heavy. Not my usual go-tos, but... I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I was uh, earlier tonight. I had a craving for chocolate milkshake, so Amber and I made some made a chocolate milkshake for ourselves. And shortly after we did that, I had a craving for more chocolate. So I had a chocolate porter that's been sitting, waiting for me to drink it, and so I've consumed it. Right. Okay. So I got to go up on top of my life pod. Okay, I'm on top of the life pod, Vex. Got my little beacon devicey boy. Open your PDA and look through it. Okay. Look around. Um... I, um, uh... that glowing cloud right there 
Is that... Oh my god, is that dry land? Is that what this trick is? It shows you where the land is? Oh my god, it totally does too. That's fucking awesome. Okay, so that's that's the land I gotta go for over there, isn't it? Yeah, something tells me that that's where I need to go. So... Those are the clouds that they put in to hide the islands. Okay. So this is due north, northeast. Okay, let's get to the Seamoth. And we're headed north, northeast. Oops. All right. This is the way we're going. My poor sea moth has taken an incredibly high... Oh, crap. I just realized how low my water and foods is right now. I gotta go get some... I gotta get some supplies if I'm gonna go do this. I should also probably repair my sea moth. Because I didn't realize it was taking so much damage. I think I'm gonna have to build the storage locker in there. That's just for storing repair tools and emergency supplies. Just need a bulb when you get there. Okay, you say that, but... I also should probably consume something before I go there, shouldn't I? I got some minerals I gotta drop off anyway. Let's snag one of those, two of those. Uh, consume, consume, consume. Reported you for not trusting Bambi. <sighs> she knows I trust her. She does know I trust her. All right, north by northwest. Let's do this. This one fear I have, I was very thorough when I was at the island the first time looking for things like diamonds. So I'm worried I've already collected all the diamond and I've either used it or I lost it somehow. Hey, fish. How goes the subbing in the Nauta King? Uh, I would say it's going pretty well. We're making progress on the prawn suit. I literally just need to find one more diamond and I can build the suit. Then we're going to go hit up that Degasi proposed habitat area because it's the only waypoint I had left that was still active. But I've been informed that if I want to find the best supply of diamond, I got to head back to the island where the alien super weapon shot down a ship. What the hell was that? No, we have a job. That was really interesting, though. That must have been a glitch, right? That was lights rendering on a wreck. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I'm i a little out of practice myself. This is only my third week back to it. So I'm still learning a lot, obviously. I'm definitely having the worry that I picked the wrong direction. But based on what I was looking at, it seemed sound. The indicator pointed north, northwest.
What is that deep, dark, heavy rumbling noise? You have to sing the song, Diamonds by Rihanna, and they will match Chris Spawn your <laughs> I don't like this. I really don't like this. Jesus. <laughs> Highness why? Highness why? Now it's gonna be stuck in my head. I don't actually think I know that song. I mean, I'm sure I've heard it. I just couldn't tell you what it what it goes like. Hey guys, am I going the wrong way? Played it twice and both times I made my base in the exact same spot. If I play again, I swear I'll build it somewhere else, I swear. I'm, I am going the right way or am I going the wrong way? I need to be sure, am I going the wrong way? Because the game, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, back we go. Back we go. Because, yeah, 2,000 meters away, I'm pretty sure the, the island was only 1,000 meters away from our base. Like, a kilometer made sense to me. Two kilometers seems do the trick again. Can I do it on the Seamoth? Does the Seamoth stay high enough off the ground or out of the water? Just one specific islands. Cause like there's the base. Oh, there it is. It's over there. Yeah, it's that cloud right there. This is like the least efficient way ever to use the Seamoth, but that is the island I've been looking for over there, so. Watch me get there and that be the wrong island again. Just aim for the low clouds. Yeah, that's that's pretty much what the impression I got was, except the one exception being that if you use the PDA, it straight up makes the clouds look like they're they're a different color. So it helps you isolate them a little bit better. Well, that thing looks different. Do you think it saw me? There it is. Wait, hold up a second. What? But there was a low cloud here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> there it is. It's <laughs> It literally wasn't there. Then the next time I popped up, there it was. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't want to leave that on. Last thing you want to do when you don't know how long you're going to be ashore is leave your lights on on your car, you know? All right. Let's get some bubble tree real quick. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that was the right thing to do. I love how the creators of this game decided to make a single-handed craft map instead of a procedurally generated one. Yeah. 
I feel like they missed a small opportunity, but the reality is they did make one hell of a game. So, on the one hand, a procedurally generated world in which you have to survive in the in a waterscape would be dope. I also get why they didn't want to do that. The act they actually intended to be procedurally generated, so it's different to explore every time, but changed their mind because they couldn't figure it out. That would have been really rad, though, Vex. Hi, Big Papa. Welcome back. It's okay. How you been? Ah, I had to give a talk. Gotcha. Keynote speaker. Colored me impressed. Can I? No? Okay. Where on earth is... No? Uh, hmm. Didn't get a per diem, oddly enough. Ah. Well, that is unfortunate. You figure a keynote speaker would get a per diem for that kind of a thing. All right, well, that's good night from me, folks. It's 4 a.m. I'll see you tomorrow at some point. I may be doing a long day stream my time, depending on certain factors. Have a great stream. Yeah, have a good night, Fester. Thank you for stopping in. Thanks for hanging out. And it was good to see you earlier as well. Uh, have a good sleep. Catch you next time. I feel like I need to be down there somehow, but I don't know how to get down there. Good night, sweet prince. Also, we'll have to discuss Phasma more. Oh, hey, Dark. Dark. There's something you gotta know. It's that Amber and I both can play Phasmo, so if you're ever interested in trying it out with us, we would love to play with you. Fucking head crabs. Fucking head crabs. Fucking hate these things. Okay, let's get them. What color is your hair, Liam? I'm thinking London Fog or Ocean Mist or something like that. It is... Okay. Gonna take a quick break for me to do this. Um, it is actually supposed to be a turquoise color. So, uh, what it actually looks like... Here, I'm going to turn off the green screen and the color correction. So there's the color correction gone. There's the chroma keys. This is what it actually looks like. It's kind of a turquoisey tealy color is what I was going for. Um, I think it's settled really, really well. But the green screen has straight up uh, taken it away. You want to lick the hair? Please don't. Love, that music is loud. Sorry, sorry. Hang on. I'm going to turn these back on. Shouldn't be that loud, actually. It's really quite... Okay, well... Anyway, we're not staying there. We're going to go back to the game right away, but... Where is Amber? Amber is in the other room right now. Amber did indeed do the hair. Yes, yeah, she dyed the hair for me. Because let's be honest, you guys really think I would trust myself with putting in hair dye on my own when I've literally never dyed my own hair before. Because I wouldn't trust that. It's weird that the green screen software catches it but doesn't delete it. Hair looks great. Oh, thank you. Well, the thing is we had to dial in our chroma keying very precisely so that it wouldn't just delete my hair because when we first did this exact thing where we I sat down after I, we dyed the hair, it immediately disappeared. Like my hair was just gone. This portion of my head up was just invisible. Uh, I bet a haircut like that will get your free bowl of soup with it. I want to see what it's like when it's invisible. Well, we can dial it back in for another time. Um, right this moment, it's going to take a little more time than I have. But uh, then it'll be invisible. Oh, I'm not going to close my eyes, Big Papa, but you're talking about You're talking about X. Gotcha. Hey, there it is. We got the last piece of diamond, guys. Since I'm here seen the teal before, but I legit haven't seen the hair. That's the color of how it looks now, and I was wondering. 
I think you could also pull that off too. Pull off the, uh, sorry, pull which, pull which thing off? Oh boy. There's friends all around me now. Okay, let's see how many more things I can get out of these shale outcroppings. Sure, I'll take more lithium, but I really want diamond. Yeah! Tons of shale to break. Oh, gold. Gold is good. Gold is good. Diamond is very good. Gimme, 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 gimme. Come back here. Hey, stop it! No! Come back here! Eh. The way it looks now, the subtle silver mystery color I can't name. Well, that's, yeah. Um, It's interesting you should say that because, like, it was commented on earlier by, actually, I can't remember who commented on it earlier, but it was uh, called kind of a silver look, and I got told it looks good, and I'm like, you know what? I could try to rock a silver look. I'd be into that. Okay, well, my, this is embarrassing. My flashlight ran out of battery, so now I got to use my C glide to somehow get out of here. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get in the water and I'm going to plant a beacon. Yeah, I, I think I'm actually going to try to dye it silver in the future. I, I really wanted to rock the teal look because I haven't done it. So, full disclosure, I've dyed my hair once before in my life. I was 17 years old and I dyed my hair red. And I'll be honest with you guys... It did not settle well. Um, by the time it had faded out, I had gone through every stage of red-haired, not-so-good-looking ginger you can imagine. Uh, people were very much observing that I was... Uh, I lo it looked awful, and uh, straight up, I regretted it every day afterward. So I said I was never going to do that. Sadly, I have to live if I curiously through other people's hair. Oh, don't worry about that fish. Uh... Honestly, until recently, I had to live vicariously through Amber's hair colors and styles. And then I just made a decision one day, because I had the hair to do it, I would just go a little crazy with it and see what I, see if I liked anything I did. Well, it wasn't so bad at the start, k -Flello. It was real bad at the end, in my opinion. <laughs> I think it looks a lot better now than it ever did before. It is so hard to do this in the dark. I dropped one of the bubble tree things I'd harvested. I'm a fool. Alright, let's get in the Seamoth. Turn on some lights so I can see what I'm doing. Use it for work lights. There we go. And... Cool. Okay, so I've placed a node. That's not a beacon. No, it's a node. I realized a little too little too late. I, I only got nodes on me. Can I actually... Copper ore and titanium. I forgot to build a proper beacon because I built... I grabbed the wrong tool. Uh, no, that was the right thing. So, I wasn't even paying attention when you crafted it. I didn't craft anything. That's the thing, Vex. I just forgot what I had on me and grabbed the wrong tool. So, it's about 1,500 meters due southwest from this island. So, what I'm going to do... You know the trick to find it again. Yeah, I just didn't want to have to do it to find it again. <sighs> oh, well. So it's due north, northeast, not north, northwest at all. So if I go north, northeast, I will be able to return to the island. If I go in a straight line from the life pod. And now we're going to go build us a prawn suit because I don't have one yet and I want one. 
They seem neat. I have a poster of one up in the base, but I don't know. I don't actually own one, so we're gonna fix that. Don't know where I'm gonna park the damn thing. I guess I could build another moon pool, couldn't I? I just dropped beacons. Yeah, that's what I should have done, fish. I didn't do that though because I didn't build one because I I grabbed my I grabbed my node marker because I it, in my head it was the same thing. <laughs> And then I remembered, wait, no, beacons are a completely separate entity and I didn't build any. So. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go back over to the ship. I'm going to go back to the base. I'm going to construct two things. I'm going to construct a beacon and I'm going to construct a prawn suit. And then I'm going to go check out the Degassi um, habitat proposition spot thing. Man, all the things I have wasted resources on constructing. Okay, we're going to toss that last one in there. Then we're going to go over to our other containers and we're going to dispose of some things. Pathfinder tool was intended for exploring caves. It used to leave a rope, but the rope would glitch through walls. So they changed it so uh, to how it is. It's nice. Yeah, like it is a nice tool. Don't get me wrong. I just kind of forgot what it was. Again, I wasn't thinking that clearly I had. Going to have to build another storage locker after all. Yep, I will do just that, actually. We're going to call this one... Um, as I'm pretty sure I actually have enough lithium to merit this. I do actually have enough lithium to merit this. Kind of scary. Also going to have to make one for just salt by the look of it, too. That seems to be another big one I got here. And gold, apparently. Got a lot of gold. I regret that immensely already. Actually, that's not bad. Not the silver. Don't need the silver. Into the gold. Dump all the gold. Into the salt. Dump all the salt. Okay, so. Let's snag all of these. And let's go build us a prawn suit. Oh, wait. I, I'm going to need a power cell for it, aren't I? Like, I'm going to get up there. I'm going to do all of this. I'm going to need a power cell. My flashlight ran out of batteries, so I'm going to take that, swap out a 100% battery. Hanging on to those empty batteries. I'm going to grab one of these power cells. Just, I've got a feeling. It doesn't actually say it on the crafting recipe, but i got a hunch. I'm going to get out there to the mobile construction thing. And it's going to be like, oh, you need a power cell. And I'm like, I don't have a power cell. Now I got to go get a power cell. Oops. Did not mean to put that away. Uh, that's a big oopsie. Climb, please. Not the other thing. Right. Okay. Using the med bay. Using the vehicle bay. Prawn suit. 
But recall, dead batteries can be crafted into live power cells. Yes, they can. Ah, my prawn suit! No! Well, look at that bad boy, eh? Right, so where do I park this thing? <laughs> can you park it in the moon pool while you have a sea moth parked in there? Or do we have, can you only park one at a time in there? Now you have to swap them. Also, please tell me if being too... No Not at all, Fish. No, um, I know nothing about this game, really. I'm learning as I go here. So any help you can offer, I'm, I'm big on. And reminders are huge for me, too. I'm really bad at remembering some details, so the help actually is really nice. Uh. Let's see. Chug, chug, chug. Yeah, I'm not going to chug my beer. I like my beer, but I don't want to chug my beer. Does it make sense to build a second moon pool? Oh, shoot. I just realized, yeah, that one's on me. There is in-game audio. I just forgot to turn it on. So thank you for letting me know. I wish I'd caught that earlier. <laughs> I've had delightful audio the whole time, but uh, I guess you guys haven't, so I'm so sorry. I guess I could just park it up here. It just It doesn't charge when it's on the roof of the moon pool. Okay, well, what's next for me here? I guess I got to go to that Degassi habitat thing. I didn't even notice because my brain plays all the sounds in the game. Lol. Amazing. I'm surprised Amber didn't tell me that though. Hey Amber, did you not notice that I didn't have the game audio turned on? Oh my. Were you also just playing the game's audio and music? Oh my gosh, okay. Well, I'm headed here. Wait, no, that's not where I'm headed. That's the one, I, I, I wanna turn that one off. I don't need the keen one. No, I want that. I don't need the keen one. I just need to do the Degassi habitat at 250 meters deep. Which is over there. I'm wondering if I should really have just taken the prawn suit for this particular expedition, but... Honestly, the sea moth moves faster, so. Yo! All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save right now that I've found the Degassi habitat. Like, whoa! Okay, that thing's carnivorous. Somewhere around here, there's going to be an entrance, and I'm going to park right in front of it. Escape support, a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Okay, well, there's an entrance there. Let's see if there's another entrance that doesn't have quite so many tentacles. Okay, there's a, there's a thing right here. hell? 
nuclear reactor fragment. That seems good. Look inside the boxes. I'm, I'm trying to get there. Stasis rifle. I've already figured out how to build a stasis rifle. Modification station fragment. Yes! Another stasis rifle fragment. That's fine. Just free titanium at that point. Power cell charger fragment. Yes. Oh, wait. I already know how to make that? I did not know I already knew how to make that. Okay. Cognizant of my oxygen. About 57. Okay, I don't want to... Water filtration machine. Okay. That seems good. Very good. Okay, I gotta get back to the pod for a second to breathe. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, so... We found some stuff. This is awesome. Oh wow, I am all turned around now. I think that's my way out over there. I want cards, but I'm so close to Jax. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you there. <laughs> You're kind of on your own there, Coulter. <laughs> but I just want you to know I'm very excited for regardless of what you do. If you play cards, I'm all over that. If you want to save and try and get me to play a game, I'm all over that too. Shit. Oh, fuck. That was not good. That was a bad decision on my part. Okay, we're closer now, so this should be a little easier to do. High cap tank. Good thing we already know how to make a high cap tank. I think that's everything I could find down here. I'm a little annoyed I only found part of the part of the mod station. Did I go down this hallway? I don't know that I did. All furniture scanned. I don't get I don't actually don't have any furniture scanning options when I go down here. So if I pull this out. 
Yeah, there's nothing to scan. I guess I've got everything already. Yeah, I've got the standing lockers. I got the chairs, the desks, the tables. Got everything, really. Oh, no, that's not good. I got stung by a jelly. Is there another spot I should be finding something down here? Like, I really want to find the rest of that uh, modification station to scan. Oh, no. back down here. Well, that was close. All right, home time. Yes, thank you, game. Now that I can make a water filtration system, I'm going to install one, like, immediately. I need it yesterday. Okay, what do I need to do to build a water filtration system? I know I can build that now, which is nice. Grab traps, which are okay. Oh, it's, uh, it's uh, gonna be under modules, isn't it? I need a mod station so badly. Okay, uh, water filtration system. Copper wire and aerogel. Okay. Let's see. Under minerals, I'm gonna need a couple copper. Uh, I need... Wait, how much copper wire did I need for that? Oh, just the one. Okay. I was worried for a second I was gonna need to go get a whole bunch more. Nope, don't need an ingot. Just need the straight titanium. Back to the titanium locker. We're gonna go ahead and store all of that for the time being, except for the two I need. Uh, go to the active product, uh, active projects. We'll dump those in there. I've got some enameled glass, which can go under made. I've got a piece of gold, which can go in the gold container. What do you like more, cheerleaders or flight attendants? In what context, Vex? Um, in the context of how many of those people do I know that I still get along with? Um, the answer is cheerleaders. I'm actually quite attractiveness. Again, that's entirely subjective as it's an inv individual basis thing, but I don't know. I guess... I don't have an answer to that because I've never thought about it. I really haven't. If you had to pick a costume for Bandy. Oh, jeez. I mean, I'd probably go flight attendant because she's a traveler type, so she'd have all, co all sorts of fun things to do while talking about it. Yeah, just because it ties in better to her personality. I'm going to say flight attendant. Uh, 
what am I trying to remember where it is again? Food! That's what I'm trying to remember where I put it. Why? What do you, what do you mean, why, Amber? Bex asked a question. I'm just answering the question. Okay, I need to go find arrow gel for that. I need to go get some. <laughs> How did Batman scare me? <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. I really don't generally rightly know how Batman actually scared the crap out of me just now. I need rubies, that's what I need. I still have rubies, right? Oh good, I do. Okay. We're working on the water filtration system for this. I need how many? One arrow gel for one. I will need these as well because I'm just gonna go make it right now. Okay, the rest of it is unnecessary at this point in time. Um, I'm actually a little afraid now too there, Bambi. You have to pick a costume for Liam. Oh, okay, I see where this is going. Alright, so... Wait, do I just know how to build this now? Damn it! Crazy old gamer, 17 or 39? 17 or 39 what? gray hair young face um not gray hair dyed hair that the green screen has made look real real old uh i, I look silver haired but actually it's kind of a tealy blue i am 28 right in the middle yeah you can see the real hair in the discord if you'd like um There we go. You can join our Discord if you so feel inclined and hang out with us. We have lots of conversations. Many of them fun. Okay, so that's running now. I don't want to make any more arrow gel right now, though. So does this actually consume power? I hope it consumes power. Tons of power, all right. Well, it's a good thing I'm gonna be able to provide it with tons of power. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and store that ruby again. Put the gel sacks in the reactor. The reactor's full right now is the problem. So I can't put anything in there yet. In time, I will be able to do so, but... Yeah. Since I know they're going to go bad sitting in my inventory, I'm just going to wait until they turn, and then by that point, there should be room for me to toss them in. Anyway, I actually have some data... Some voice logs to review here. Um, that are data downloads. I thought it might get claustrophobic living underwater. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. But I stare out of the window, and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see the world here. up close. Back on the island, 
I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life's toxic. I learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. It's a bit gross, but it's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting to document my findings. Life pod 19, Part don't leave till you say I can leave. Gotcha. He says, understanding is power. That the more we know about this planet, the more we can use it to our advantage. I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access, but the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What they don't eat settles on the seabed, which fertilizes the mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. If I'm gonna grab those, I'm gonna grab one of my water bottles before I go. Oh, hey. I have no water. Hope that filtration system kicks in soon. Really gonna need that. Do you can hide stream loot cards that aren't even that aren't presently relevant within the collection? For example, your Cyclops related cards. Uh, yes. However, I actually am more of the opinion you should just hang on to those until um you can use them, or you can craft new cards with them if you want to do something right away. I just like the idea that people will have cards eventually to hit me with that I haven't seen before. And that's kind of fun for me. Because, you know, I, I don't know all the Subnautica cards. Amber knows them because she made them all, but she's also experienced them. She has a Cyclops, yeah. Well, had. I mean, she's beaten it now, so now it's just a matter of uh, eventually getting into playing Sub-Zero. Or Below Zero, sorry. That being said... Um, since I'm just driving for the moment, I can talk about what she's actually chosen to play. Because she has decided what she's going to play next. Unless Amber wants to talk about it herself on our Saturday night stream. Um, also, I don't think you... Subnautic cards are craftable? craftable? You know, I don't know that they are. I genuinely don't. I don't know what Amber made enabled for that or not. I don't actually handle most of our stream loots. Fun fact about me. Um, I handle tech. I don't really handle... And this is going to sound really, really cold. I don't really do a lot of our community stuff. Because um, I'm much better at handling technology than I am at handling people, I find. Amber, on the other hand, knows exactly how to make things work and has done all the research and knows the stream loot stuff. Great question. Hey, Amber, are you there? That's... I went into the wrong hole again. Oh, she's probably gone off to go do something more interesting, I suppose. Okay, I am here now, Vex. Don't go into the hole. Find the nearby wreck. Looks like people got questions, Amber. Do you want to answer them? Want to play another run of Signotica? You totally should. Yes, he can. She is going to be playing... Life is Strange Before the Storm. Um, I've seen some gameplay of it, and it looks fantastic. Is that the wreckage you're talking about there, Vex? Oh, damn it. I have a laser cutter. Are there any elephants in that game? Amber, I'm sorry. There are not. Uh, Vex, can I go back and get my laser cutter? Or do I need to stay here anyways? Because you said to stay here until you told me to leave. But I got a feeling some stuff I need is inside here.
Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go get my laser my laser cutter then. There is an elephant onesie. Go get it. Go in to get it. That's true. Yeah. Uh, real quick, everybody, just because this is something that I want to talk about real fast, just because it's fun. Um, we have a onesie fund started. Uh, we would like to buy ourselves a couple of very silly, very cute Tsukigurumi onesies. And if you want to contribute to contribute to it, that's what our tip button is on our page. So if you want to contribute, you can. If you don't want to, honestly, don't feel like you have to. It's just we thought it was a fun idea. Yeah, genuinely, that's all we were going to use it for, was buying onesies. And we were going to make a point not to buy green ones so we wouldn't have a green screen problem. So you could always tell what we were wearing. No matter how ridiculous it was. Oh, Vex, thanks for the 100 bits! Really appreciate that, friends. And I just hit a fish. Hey, hey! Eh. Could have been better, I guess. I do need water while I'm here, so... Uh, I don't have any water. Well, that is a problem. <laughs> Excuse me. I wonder how bits convert to Canadian. Um. Well enough, I suppose. No, wait. I was going to make water while I was here. It's basically the equivalent of if you take your your one dollar American, you convert it to whatever the currency is in Canadian. So it's like a buck twenty, a no, buck thirty seven or something like that right now or something like that. I gotta drink all of it. I'm running low on water, so. I mean, obviously because of the way Twitch works, we don't get all of it, but. Oof. Nailed it that time. Just cranked that fish. Woo! It's not swimming away from that one. I didn't realize how much stuff there was by LifePod19 that I just didn't get to. Stream Lux is the best way to support streamers uh, percentage-wise. Uh, that's entirely possible. The only other way that I would say is probably better would be either Patreon or um, or the tipping. Yeah, it does use PayPal, unfortunately. Through, like, stream elements or something like that. Uh, bottom line is Twitch itself is not the best way to support a streamer, oddly enough. Despite the fact that, you know, that is most of where our bread and butter comes from. It's, like, where the majority we can see our payouts and stuff like is. Um... Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird to talk about the finances of how Twitch works and how supporting streamers works and everything like that. But the bottom line is, is like, if you can support in whatever way you want, that is what we appreciate. We're not actually asking people to do it. We just, if you feel so inclined, we appreciate it. Because, you know, we make our money. We still work day jobs. We still live lives, so. Okay, once I'm directly overhead, it's down a little bit and then straight ahead. There it is. I love how hard we T-pose whenever we do that. Another 100 bits, Vex. Thank you. Vex, 
You're being so good, man. Thank you so much. Oh shit, my flashlight got taken off my ma off my hot bar. Wow, you're really going home for us for, to, to rock the onesies, aren't you? I love it. Sample analyzer. I'll take that. Vex? What the heck? Thank you so much. Is that 500 you're at now? Cyclops fire suppression system. Oh my god, Vex. Thank you. Bottom of my heart, thank you. Oh shit, I just dropped my scanner. There it is. Last piece of the mod station. Thank goodness for that. Oh. Vex again with the 150. Oh my god, Vex, thank you. Cut to. Oh, I, I already cut it though. Uh oh. Seamoth. Vex, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Seriously, bottom of my heart. Thank you. Oh my god, you're still going? Trace the circle to get the laser cutter to cut adjacent. You just shattered my perception of the laser cutter. I'm... I want to say I'm sorry, but at the same time, I feel like I just helped you save a whole bunch of time in the future. So, uh, you're welcome. Can I get... Excuse me, girders. I'd like to get in through your hole, please. G girder. 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 Oh, there's nothing of value in there. Okay, never mind then. Uh, okay. Well, I found all the modification parts. I don't use PayPal, but that's my contribution to the jammies. Vex, you're amazing, and that is so good of you to do. Thank you so much. We're not gonna make you switch to what you have, what you don't feel comfortable doing. Uh, you've contributed so much already to us succeeding at this point, and it really does mean the world to us. Same thing with everybody here who's contributed and in whatever way they could. You guys are amazing. You make this worth it. You really do. I guess I already did this room. Wait, did I? Modification station fragment. Well, I know how to make it now, so now it's just free titanium. Another mod station fragment. So many mod station fragments. What the heck? I know they've always been here, but where were they when I was here last time? So Vex, if you don't mind my asking, what else am I sp am I going to find in the wreckage here? Go back inside and look up. Do, 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 do. Back into the one I was in up here, right? Wrong one? All right, off to the other one. Oh, look at that! Isn't that neat? Oh, my laser cutter ran out of juice. Okay, well, that is a problem. Not really using the habitat builder right now, so I can probably swap the battery from that.
No, no, I'm gonna keep looking around the wreck now that you've told me to keep looking. I just wasn't sure what I was supposed to be looking for. So now that I know what I'm looking for, you know, it's making my life easier. What on earth is that? A light stick fragment. Ooh, reinforced diving suit. Power cell charger fragment. Gotta go get air. Yeah, I see the other light stick fragment, but I gotta go get oxygen first. So we're gonna s real quick rip on. Oxygen. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is gonna be cutting it. Oh! We're gonna take this in a little closer over here. So yeah, now that I actually see that other light stick fragment over here, I'm gonna go ahead and scan that real quick so I can get the other half of the light stick fragment. Whew! That was a close one though. Okay, what else we got up here? There's gonna be more up here, obviously. Yeah, look at that right there. Power cell charger fragment. That's more t free titanium. I think this area is now done because I don't think I can cut through that, can I? Nope. What about this one? Nope. Okay, so... Wait, what? Um, okay. If nothing else, it's free resources, so I'll take free resources. Lorewise, do you know who the girl is that everyone seemed to have a pick of? I do not yet. No, I'm sure I will find out in time. Just real quickly, gonna grab some oxygen. Boy, this wreck is extensive. Okay, let's see. What are we gonna find next? I guess it's really easy to glaze over this wreck. There's some more stuff down here. Oh, Ruby. Gonna need that. Definitely gonna need that. One thing that's been proving to be very useful to me is having an overabundance of things like, well, rubies. As it seems, everything uses aerogel. Okay, so we've got that portion of the wreck and this portion of the wreck and everything in the middle. I'm looking for more obvious wreckage to explore. Uh, there's some stuff up here I don't think I've looked at yet. Oh, Moonflow Fragment. Okay, that's neat, I guess. Yeah! Vehicle Upgrade Console. Nice. Okay, here we go. Nineteen had everything. Oh, I can go home now. Okay, cool. Let's go home, stock up on supplies, and uh, get to building some new stations and stuff. Because that's probably how we're going to wind out the stream here, is we're going to just focus on building modification stations and the like for... Um, for the base. And 
And I gotta remember that PDA trick for uh, going back to the islands if I ever have to go there. I probably will, knowing my luck. I will inevitably have to go back there at some point, but... It can wait. That red seaweed rock column is always where I built my base. Really? I chose this spot because it's literally right over top of coral. Uh, the tube coral, which is great for harvesting for water early stage. I always like this area just because, you know, as convenient as it can be to go grab easy resources is what I want. Ooh. I'll take that. Did you ever, did you hear they reverse engineered the new cold va the COVID vaccine to make an AIDS vaccine that is 97% I had not heard that. Is that real? Is that the real deal? Cause that's, that's incredible. It would be amazing news if it's true. I hadn't heard that though, so I don't know how to feel about it yet. Amazing that those gel sacks haven't gone bad yet. Oh, get those gel sacks in there. It's better when people don't trust him. Bammy, please Google it. Amber, I hope you're still watching. A variation of it on a useless glass container. Sample analyzer. Is it true that uh, they've reverse engineered the COVID vaccine to be a 97% effective AIDS vaccine? Why can't fish Google? Why, what, what, what's wrong with you Googling it, honey? Okay. Kilroy doubted first. I just didn't know. Oh, one great strategy is place a bunch of outdoor grow beds on an under on a platform underwater and then just put a sample of every plant you see there. I will Google. Yeah, I mean, go for it, guys. I mean, I have very little information to go on and I tend to not expect everything to be 100% accurate right away. I don't like to doubt people implicitly, but I don't really have a lot of the information and because uh you know i'm in the middle of the stream i don't really have access to that information i'm gonna assume that's fabricated because i didn't i don't know how else you'd make that kind of a thing how's that Novel vaccine approach for the prevention of HIV has shown promise in phase one trials. Reported IAV in Scripps research, according to the organizations, the vaccine successfully stimulated the production of a rare immune cells needed to generate antibodies against HIV in 97% of participants February 5th, 2021. Holy fucking shit. That's amazing. That is goddamn amazing. Okay. I'm all over this. That's fantastic news. I'm going to build a mod station because I can build a mod station now. Thank you for looking that up, Bambi. I need a computer ship to 
For computer chip, what do I need? What I need make your computer chip. Let's see, let's see here. Um, what I need make computer... Look at all these modifications I can make suddenly, guys. Look at this shit. I can make a thermal blade, thermal blade, thermal blade. Do I know how to make... Because I know I need synthetic fibers. What do I need to know to ma how to make to make synthetic fibers, I wonder. Coral, copper... Okay, have I got enough copper is the next question. I do not have enough copper to make copper wire. I need another copper. Copper comes from limestone. Ooh! Yes, please. Stage phase one clinical trial, which is still underway, involved 48 healthy adults who received uh, a total of two doses of, e of the vaccine or placebo two months apart. Preliminary data show 97% of those who received the vaccines had advanced immune system. So yeah, we are talking about, that's, that's incredible. I mean, I'll take the titanium, although I do not need the titanium. That I did need, though. Yeah, so it's very promising, but not conclusive. It's early stage, but yeah, that, like that is massive. If it, if this is real and this, like based on the articles we're seeing here, we know that it is definitely real. They're definitely testing this. If this pans out, that's gonna be huge. All oh, right, I didn't grab the Durr, I didn't grab the copper wire yet. The other piece of copper I needed. Gonna need that. I'm trying to build a mod station, which I need a computer chip, which needs table coral samples, gold and copper wire. So I need to grab, I have a whole locker full of gold. So I'll go grab a thing of gold. I'm gonna need a couple of table coral. It's pretty exciting. Big stuff is happening guys. Stage of the blueprint is for the modification station. I really am just trying to get this mod station built before the end of the stream. Uh, mod station. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where's the mod? There it is. Uh, lead and the diamonds. Okay, so that's all going to be under minerals. Uh, lead and a diamond. Okay, then I need this. And I want to build that in this corner here. It's a vehicle mod console. I just want a regular modification station. Heck yeah. And four lithium. How much lithium do I still have? I should have a lot of lithium on me. I've been wanting to, yes, I do. I have a whole box of it. I've been wanting to do something with, I've been wanting to build this thing for ages. Let's make some magic. Ultra high capacity oxygen tank. Over 200 seconds of oxygen. Fantastic. Okay, well that's actually gonna bring me right up to the end of the stream, I think there, guys. I'm just looking at the time. You know, we're, we're just... We're very much right at the time limit here. So I'm going to just really quickly ditch my last piece of titanium, I think. Definitely going to... You know what? I'm not going to find a spot to say, to ditch it. So I'm just going to save twice for good measure. And I'm going to go ahead and quit out. And we'll go to our, our little holding area for the time being. Uh, but I want to thank everybody who was here tonight hanging out. Um... Let's see, who could we raid tonight? I'm actually having so much fun. Uh, Vex, thank you for playing the card that got me back, for paying the points to get me back into this game. I'm loving this game and I have actually missed playing it a lot. It's very addictive and it's very got me. Um, I 
think I want to raid Outdoor Andy. He's doing some Stardew Valley right now, so that kind of sounds fun to me. So if you guys are good with me, good to go with me on this little journey over to Outdoor Andy's Stardew Valley stream, I'm going to go ahead and get us set up for a raid over there. Uh, he's a great guy. He's been very fun to watch. So yeah. Uh, but I want to thank everybody who hung out. Um, thank you for being here. Thanks for all the bits. Thanks for your love. Thanks for chatting. Um, next stream is going to be when Friday night. It'll be ladies night with Lena. That ga that show is back uh, because we got the upgrade done. So I hope you guys join us then. But for me, that's it, guys. I hope you have a great night. Bye.